A robbery on the Midnight Express. A woman's suitcase was opened just after the train left the station, and her priceless diamond necklace stolen. The suitcase was in the dining car. Only four people had been inside the dining car since the train departed. The conductor interrogates these four people. Unfortunately, you're one of them. What, me? I'm just here to get a snack and escape the clutches of a psychopath who's been following me around all season. A likely story. The other suspects are a traveling businessman. I came here to get a drink and soothe my throat. There was so much smoke on the platform as the train departed from the station. It really irritated my asthma. I could barely hear the old lady scream over my coughing. The waiter. I was sorting out the peanuts. There's a big difference between salted and unsalted. Look, we're on a train. There's always drama. A murder here, a robbery there. If I stopped working for every little crime, nobody would get served. And that would be a real tragedy. The janitor. I was relaxing with my coffee, preparing for a long night. The beginning of the voyage is the only moment of peace and quiet. After the first 15 minutes, it's all used tissues, peanut wrappers, and overflowing toilets. That lady screaming really harshed my mellow. Who stole the necklace? Wait a second, guys. Has anyone considered the possibility that the old lady dropped her diamond necklace into the sea? Because they do that from time to time. It's a thing. It was the businessman. It's 2019. Trains are electric. There's no smoke on the platform. That adrenaline rush of being accused of a crime you didn't commit really worked up your appetite. You decide to grab a snack for the ride. The carefully sorted peanuts are tempting, but there is a sign that says, today's special fried eggs. You go for that and ask the waiter for two fried eggs. Uh-oh, I'm not sure there are enough eggs left. There were six eggs in the carton, and I broke two and fried two. I can't remember how many eggs I have left. How many eggs are left in the carton? Fried eggs on a train? What'll they think of next? A cheeseburger in a car? Oh, wait, that's actually awesome. Maybe this whole fried eggs on a train thing is actually a good idea. There are four eggs left. The waiter broke two eggs in a bowl and fried the same two eggs, meaning there are four eggs remaining, more than enough for your order. Guess working on the Midnight Express has left this waiter's memory a little foggy with sleep deprivation. You go find your seat to gobble down your fried eggs. Luckily, no one else is in the train cabin yet to complain about the smell. A few minutes go by and the door bursts open noisily. A couple that has five sons enters the train cabin. Ugh, people, they're the worst. Each son has seven sisters. Each sister has three babies. How many people enter the train cabin? I went on a night train once. It wasn't so bad. But then again, I wasn't running for my life from a psychopath, so, you know, I guess you're entitled to complain a little. Two people, the couple, but they're talking so loudly, it sounds like 20. The ticket collector enters the train cabin. He asks everyone to get their tickets out and pauses after you and the couple hands him your tickets. After a few seconds, he declares, one of these is fake. Which ticket is fake? Shout out to RMT fan Alexandra Seedure who commented, Someone get Randy a movie part already. Hear that, Hollywood? I'm ready for my close-up. Good eye. Suddenly, the train comes to a lurching halt. The conductor comes on over the loudspeakers. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we've just received a call from the police. They believe there is a dangerous criminal on board. They are arriving shortly. Just then, you feel a tap on your shoulder. You can run, but you can't hide. You are a bus driver, 
and you're in a bit of a hurry. You pass a stop sign without even looking. Next, you take a shortcut, but it's down a one-way street. And you nearly hit an elderly pedestrian. You're in such a rush. You keep on going a little faster until you realize there is a police officer in his car who has been watching you the entire time. And yet, he doesn't arrest you. Why? Don't get run over by complications. The answer is so simple. You are a bus driver, but that doesn't mean you were driving a bus. It was your day off and you were riding a scooter on the sidewalk. Whee! Riddle me this. The body of a certain dead puddle was found in the elevator shaft of a large apartment building. The man lived on the sixth floor and was killed instantly after falling more than 50 feet. The elevator had been out of order for two weeks and the shaft was dark and empty. The police suspect it was murder because he was found with a black eye. There were four main suspects brought in for questioning. The first was an ex-lover of his, Jennifer Crow. I live on the same floor, but I didn't hear anything. I was on the phone yelling at the delivery people. They refuse to make any deliveries to the building as long as the elevator isn't working. The second was Mr. Wavering. I live on the fifth floor and I didn't see or hear anything. I was giving myself a manicure in my apartment. They had me on nails. They get so dirty. The third was an old friend from school, Professor Y. I live on the third floor and can't take the stairs with my wheelchair. I was putting away my groceries when I heard the police sirens. And the fourth suspect, Quick Gold. I live on the ground floor. I was about to go jogging with my friends when I heard the body hit the ground. A horrible sound. So, uh, can I go? I'm gonna be late, and I hate feeling rushed. So, who's lying? Last episode of season two. Hope you enjoyed it throughout. And remember, if you're spending only half your time concentrating on looking normal, then you're only half concentrating on this riddle. So, who do you think did it? Professor Y. He said he was putting away his groceries. Since the elevator wasn't working and there were no deliveries being made to the building, he had to go buy them himself. Professor Y is quite capable of walking and is more than meets the eye. A messy murder. Poison was found in Leo's water after he collapsed on the field. All three suspects attacked him during the game, but only one of them was the culprit. If you had poisoned someone, would you bite them or try to resuscitate them with mouth to mouth? The only one who didn't risk being contaminated was Diego. Riddle me this. You and eight of your friends are trapped in a high security government facility. Escaping from one room to another, you come across a room with five doors and there is only one safe exit. To make matters worse, a vicious mass murderer named Murmurs is out to get you. This man is dangerous. If you look him in the eye, you could fall victim to his evil mind powers. Two of your friends have already made eye contact with him meaning there are two traitors in your group. Unfortunately, you don't know who has turned. You need to escape, 
but you don't have much time. In fact, you only have one shot. You or your friends will only have time to check one exit before going back to tell the others it's safe. How will you split up your group to find the right exit? You want a war? We'll give you a war. Post your best guesses in the comments section below. And make sure to click the red button and subscribe to our Riddle Me This channel. Riddle!